So this is the opening for the slow motion analysis. We've got a camera at the side and I'm going to be demonstrating a number of strokes. First off the basic backhand and then versions of this because this is a varied stroke. But in all the strokes the fundamentals will be the same and I want to emphasize all of them in this opening take. So here's the beginning of a basic backhand and the first move is to start turning to the side. And we got slow motion going here. I'm turning, I'm turning, the weight's shifting to the back foot although not really set yet. The racket is open and right about now if we stop you can take a look at my wrist, how the racket face is open and notice the angle of the racket head where it's up and if you remember my comments about good old Blackie Jones this was called up back down and through well I'm in the up phase now going forward the racket continues it continues I'm turning more I'm turning more and right about now we'll stop it again and notice that I've got all the weight balanced on the back foot Notice that on preparation, the left hand has still been riding along with the racket. The racket face is very open. And finally, if you take a look at the line of my upper arm and lower arm, I've got a very pronounced bent elbow. So these are your basic mechanical elements on preparation. Weights on the back foot. You could also call this back and back. That is, more or less the racket is in the farthest back position at the same moment that I'm on the back foot. Now we'll continue. Take it a little further back, stop right there. And now you can see that I've shifted the weight onto the front foot. So we've talked about the word pulling and now the initial pull came from the shift of weight. My elbow is still bent, the racket face is still open, the left hand is still on the racket face and this is going to be an underspin but I think the fun of this shot is truly at this moment I'm not sure you could pick whether I'm going to hit a drive or a floater or an approach or even a drop there's a lot of disguise in a stroke like this now let's let it go a little further we'll take a look at impact right there at this moment you can see the hit is barely in front of me we've talked about that I've got body weight on the front foot the left or non-dominant arm is still in the back position to keep me sideways. And so this is your classic point of contact and when we talked about timing this is about letting the ball come a little more to you. Now we're going to take it a few steps further and pause again. Hold everything right there and now what you see is the non-dominant arm is still back. The hitting arm is starting to go up, but this is just a deceleration phase. This is nothing about the hit. And if we draw a vertical line, and this is courtesy Tom Stowe, I am very balanced. And what that means is that I shifted my weight without losing my balance. And I think these are your keys as you stroke this ball. It's a pulling stroke. Make sure you step in. Keep your balance, be vertical, split your arms, and hit through, and let's let it finish on its own. And these follow-throughs are meant to be natural and letting them happen, not making them happen. A little more, a little more, a little more. And I think that one went over the net.